Hello and welcome to this review of Old Santa Eggnog. This is the first video review for this brand in the world and it was introduced in 2013. I found that out. The trademark was first issued in 2013. I bought this at Total Wine and More and they had it for $8.99. Nice little sale. $8.99 for the 750 milliliter bottle. There's Old Santa, St. Nicholas and St. Nicholas St. Nicholas, St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas was an actual Christian saint during the days of the Roman Empire. Okay, eggnog with rum, bourbon, and brandy. Rum, bourbon, and brandy. 12.5% alcohol, 25 proof. 750 milliliter bottle. It says bottled by the Clear Spring Distilling Company, Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, I'm not familiar with the Clear Spring Distilling Company of Louisville, but um, I will say that this bottle looks remarkably similar in shape, actually identical in shape to a Sazerac bottle that you might find from uh, Louisville, Kentucky, including the cap, but it uh, must be a complete coincidence. All right, don't know if it's any good. Going to see if they have any written reviews on like uh, liquor. No, I'm sorry, what am I saying? Dis Distillery.com and Proof 66. I doubt it, but they might. I might be shocked. Old Santee. Tiny I've had so many different major brand spiked eggnogs like Pennsylvania Dutch, the most popular one. Everybody has that including total wine. In fact, when I was looking at this, I heard a guy telling another worker there, Pennsylvania Dutch, eggnog. I don't know what he was telling him where to put it or something, but I was like, yep, everybody's got it. Except, well, I mean, Trader Joe's, they have their own brand, but you know what I'm saying, every major place has it. Most people have Evan, Pennsylvania Dutch, of course, Evan Williams, yes. <clears throat> Benchmark, you will see that at many their eggnog at many places. There's some more. Drew a blank all of a sudden. Um, I'll think of it. <clears throat> but those are big ones. The Evan Williams everywhere. Benchmark is pretty popular and of course, Pennsylvania Dutch. Old Santee. Mm -hmm. Oh, Christian Brothers. Uh, Dorgnax had it. Total Wine and More had it. That's spotty. You may see a Trader Joe's eggnog. You'll see a Trader Joe's. I didn't buy it, but I saw it. Can't get everything. Next year, next year. Well, it looks like eggnog. It's milky white. Eggnog, if you read the U.S. government regulations, there are certain percentages of what it has to contain. And it must contain egg yolk, egg white, at this percentage, and this much milk, and this much, or cream, and the ABV specifics, whatever. Um, I can't remember it all, but it's pretty, um, it's clear, clearly written, and it's, but it's very clear cut also. The Christian Brothers was strange. I liked it, but it was strange because it tastes like tasted like a candy cane. Let's go with the aroma. It's sweet. It's creamy. It's not that different from Benchmark in the aroma. But you see, Benchmark's made with what? Benchmark straight bourbon whiskey. Yeah. Okay. This is rum. What rum? I don't, I don't know. Fleischmann's. And, oh, I read somewhere, and I think it's a reliable source, that Glenmore is now starting to distill rum in Kentucky. You know, when you think of Owensboro, Kentucky, on the Ohio River, across from uh, the northern states, do you think of rum? No, you think of Jamaica or Trinidad and Tobago, but there it is, rum. Um, bourbon, well, of course, could be Old Thompson <laughs> or... Uh, Buffalo Trace and Brandy.
Randy. I guess it could be Hartley. <laughs> Fleischmann's. Fleischmann's more than likely. All right. Smells nice. Sweet. Holiday. Got up to 72 to today over here. Partly cloudy. Nothing says Thanksgiving season like 72 degrees and uh, rising, you know, rising humidity. All right. All right. Picking up a little of the liquor mixture. Rum, bourbon, brandy. Many of them will be blended American, you know, blended whiskey, rum, brandy. Then there are a few, like I said, that are just straight bourbon. There is a mint flavor. It's not profound like the Christian Brothers. The liquors are so blended. I mean, you just can't discern. You can't tell them. It's like, oh, here's the rum, here's the brandy, here's the straight bourbon. I mean, it's they just mix together. It tastes like a. a a mild liquor mixture, something. The egg, the cream, the sugars, they're all well blended. Well, hey, I guess this company, the Clear Springs Distilling Company, knows how to make some eggnog. I'm not saying there's not a real company called the Clear Spring distilling company. You know what? I'll go look that up in a little bit. <laughs> Think I'm going to find a website? You know what I'm going to find. Uh, I don't care about aliases and assumed names. Um, wow. Uh, all kidding aside, this might be the best one I've had, and I've had a lot at this point. I didn't know what it was going to taste like. I said, Old Santee, uh, this is going to be some run-of-the-mill stuff. But, boy, it's really strong. Egg yolk, it's strong. Cream. There's that back note of the peppermint, the mixture of the, the liquors, only coming up to 12.5% alcohol. I wouldn't drink too much. But it's fattening, anyway. It's You would hate to know the calorie count. Um... But man, I hit the jackpot on this thing. Put some cinnamon, why not? Next, when I'm finished with this cinnamon bottle in like 2048, I'm gonna uh, get some nutmeg cinnamon canister. Oh yeah, it's better now. You could get screwed up with this because you could say, oh, it tastes so good. And you'd be watching like A Christmas Story or It's a Wonderful Life or The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, or the effective gamma rays on Man in the Moon marigolds. And you just keep sipping on it and adding the cinnamon and sipping and adding. And then, and then ooh, it'd be a rock. You'd be, it'd be like the scorpions. It'd rock you like a hurricane. But that's all I'm going to try. So unless I see the uh, that there's some place I can write some reviews, I'll have to do pour some more for... Um, scientific reasons. The remarkable thing about this is the really intense dairy cream. It's intense dairy. It's uh, and some people just gag when I say dairy, milk, cream. Okay. If I say egg yolk, they <coughs> you know, I understand that, but I like these exotic things. People say eggnog, uh, not exotic. 
I know, but this is 2020. People are very sensitive. They have food aversions. You say, uh, you want some sardines, and they run out the building. But, um, it's fantastic, actually. So, Les Les Bon Temps Relais, a most excellent product, a solid A. I think with that extra egg yolk and the dairy cream coming into play, it really is a 96 out of 100. 100. I never dreamed that. I said 899. I don't know what this is going to be, but uh, boy, oh boy, is it good. And look how much left I have. Ha 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 ha. And all of that, and what they what they call that. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.